Hi guys, Justin here of Figatac. And Vivo has recently unveiled their latest entry-level gaming smartphone for 2022, which is this Vivo Y21T. It sports a 6.51-inch HD Plus display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 processor, 6GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, and a large 5000mAh battery. We just got our hands on one, so without further ado, let's check it out. Before we get into it, of course, let's see what's inside the box. Lifting up the lid, we're greeted with a small box that contains the manuals and a jelly case. Then under that is the phone itself, followed by the Type-C cable, the SIM ejector tool, and the adapter. And that's all of it. So now let's talk about this Vivo Y21T itself. Right off the bat, it's a slim device with an attractive, trendy back cover that can definitely capture your attention. Its body is made out of a glossy polycarbonate material that changes colors when moved towards different angles. Also, at the back, you'll find a protruding triple camera setup at the top left corner as well as some Vivo branding below. Our unit comes in pearl white and it gives a luminous effect thanks to its nano coating. By the way, it will also be available in midnight blue if you're interested. In the hands, the Y21T feels lightweight at 182 grams. It's also comfortable to grip thanks to its flat edges. However, since it's glossy, expect that it's a lot prone to fingerprint smudges. So we recommend using the free jelly case included in the box for some peace of mind. Up front, we have a 6.51-inch IPS LCD display with a 1600 by 720 pixels resolution and a pixel density of 409 pixels per inch. And just like last year's model, it's capable of up to a 90Hz refresh rate. Noticeably, the bezels look reasonably thick with a few extra on the chin part. Then there's also the selfie notch on the upper center of the screen and it blends towards the top bezel right below the earpiece. Well, it's a pretty decent and immersive display with good viewing angles. The brand didn't mention any glass protection here, but we do have a screen protector pre-installed. Located on the right side are the volume rocker and the power button that also acts as a fingerprint scanner. The buttons are firm and clicky. They're also easily reachable since it's placed near the middle of the frame. Nothing can be found on the left side while up top there's a triple card tray for two nano SIM cards and a micro SD card that's expandable up to 1TB. Heading over to the bottom, we get the USB Type-C port, 3.5mm headphone jack, speaker grill, and the primary microphone. When it comes to internals, the Vivo Y21T is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 chipset, coupled with an Adreno 610 GPU, 6GB of RAM with 2GB memory extension, 128GB of internal storage, and the latest FunTouch OS 12 that's based on Android 11. Battery-wise, it packs a large 5000mAh capacity with 18 watts fast charging. Now onto its cameras. The Vivo Y21T packs a triple setup at the back consisting of a 50MP main, a 2MP macro, and a 2MP depth sensor. Meanwhile, for selfies, we have an 8MP front shooter. We took it for a quick spin, so check out some sample shots that we got so far. As for the price, the Vivo Y21T has a tag of 10,999 pesos, and this will be officially available in all Vivo brand stores, partner dealers, Shopee, and Lazada. We'll be using this device more in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for our full review. And that's it for now, guys. Share with us what you think about this Vivo Y21T in the comments below. Let us know if you also have some questions that we can address in our review coming soon. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin and don't forget to wash your hands and stay safe!